do this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I'm going in a bit hot. Gag. Gag. We did it! Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode here, ha, on the Hermitcraft server with me, ZF. Hope you're doing very well today. That, of course, is my brand new 6x6 door. It's still technically unfinished because we haven't got a way out of it, but I have increased the speed at which it opens and closes now. It's even better and I'm loving it. But yeah, still no decent way to go out yet. You can only really come in. But we are not working on that today. We are going to begin by heading on over to Deck Town for three entire runs. Then we're going to come home and we're going to wash our soiled underpants by filling up the world's biggest aquarium. So everything you see here behind me will soon be wet, blue and extra fishy. But yes, first to Deck Town. And uh, yep, I forgot about the door still. It doesn't open. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> this way works too. All right, so here we are at the Decked Out uh, Arena. It's just called Decked Out. Um, and we've not been here for a little while. Many, many other people, as you can see, all around me have been playing and catching up. And uh, the beginning, we were probably the leader, one of the best players around. And we've lost that title. So today, we are definitely going to be trying to reclaim the throne of best Decked Out player and uh, this is where we're currently standing um i've had a few interactions we've uh, had a trade with cub yeah good doing business with you man good doing business and we had a trade with joe wonderful doing business with you um you know happy decking i don't know what the verb is so clearly we did great business with both of them and that kind of leaves us at this point now where we've got um some honey blocks we've got three of the ocean set so i would very much like the last one of them but we've got lots of empty room we've got three whole keys to do three whole runs We've got a nice amount of cards and stuff. I'd like to be upgrading them a bit more. A little bit of money going on too. So uh, you know what? I think we should absolutely demolish this today. So let's grab a key and let's head on in. It at my key. In we go. I think I'm ready. I'm all naked. We pop that in. We pop that in. Hopefully these new cards. Oh, hello, compass. Whew. Okay. We wait for the, the stuff to happen. We heard lights get launched. Let's go in and see what's going on. Okay, all right, let's jump straight over here. I don't want to sprint too much because of the old hunger. But I do want to just try and get the loot and get back out of here today. I'm not too worried about getting other fun things. Brilliant. Okay, well, that's a good start. Let's, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, my beast sense was kicking in then. I didn't utilize it very well. I didn't look around. Okay. Um... Oh, get away from me, you jerk. Okay. Um, 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 um there's some new, like, loot locations since I last looked in here. Oh, it's a fire. What are you? Oh, there's a flame. Oh, so many flames now. What does that button do? Flaps. Okay. <laughs> Gotta check the flaps. Anything in there? In there? There's another flame. So many flames now. Okay, where's this compass leading me? Oh, oh, oh. I think the compass is... is not too far? I don't know. I've got to check all these barrels, though. <gasps> oh. Money. No money. Okay, let's punch the flame. Get it. Because getting those... <gasps> Oh, there's a zombie. Okay. Oh, the berry bush. Ow, ow, ow. Is there a guy? I oh, Can I punch a zombie? I can kill a zombie. No! Not Ethos, beast. That was terrible. <laughs> Never corner yourself. Oh, high stress. So not the most heroic run that I was hoping for, but uh, I did get a Resistance 2 card out of the card selection machine. And if we take a look at all of my cards now, I've got um, two Resistance 2s, a Resistance 1, Stealth 1, B-Sense 3, which I got in a live stream with Tango. I won the auction finally and uh, yeah, won a B-Sense 3 book. So, boop, going right to the end. Um, let's just put these in order. Soul, Loot and Stealth 1. And a resistance one. And over here, if we trade in three tier one cards, we can get a random tier two card. So I'm starting to think I'm going to trade in my resistance one because we're definitely keeping these two resistances. Um, I'm going to go with stealth. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, let's give it a soul seeker, stealth and resistance. Keep the loot finder because that's always handy to buy stuff. 
um, we're going to trade all those in. So it gives three tier one cards and receive one random tier one, two, two card. So what do I do? Feed me. It did. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Beast Sense 2. Okay, is that good? We've got Beast Sense 5. We've got Resistance 4 and Beast Sense 5 and then just a little, little loot finder. Okay, wow. I'm not sure if that's good or bad or not, but it's a deck. It's certainly a deck. Okay, shake the bad juju off. We're going back in. I don't care. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> uh, compass, very good. Boom. Boom. Where are we going today? Dead ahead again. Oh, it's always dead ahead. Why is it never right here in the room? That would be... That would be lovely. Okay, we're going straight up this way. Straight into the keep. I'm going to try not to be too careful. Okay, uh, yeah, up into the keep because it looks like it's heading up that way. Why is it going back into the forest again? I don't want to go back into the forest. This is where deadly scary things are. Okay, is there one still over here? This is near where I died last time. Follow the thing, follow the thing, follow the thing. Oh, maybe it's up here. Oh, it's not. Is it round down here? Is it in the thing? Huh? Oh! A loot box token. Okay, okay. We got what we came for. I need to just check the caves up here. Hopefully those spy skeletons don't absolutely destroy me. Oh, I've got a bit of resistance. There's a swimmer. There's a swimming. Okay, owie. Don't hit me, please. Thank you. Okay, there's a flame over here because I see the light on. Beautiful. Oh, did you see those arrows? Hello, viewer. We did all see those arrows fly at the wall, didn't we? I know what you're thinking. I should run away. I think that now too, watching this footage back. However, viewer discretion is advised because I do something a little bit different and uh, potentially a little bit more stupid. So, yes. <laughs> okay, you better get out of the way. Okay, a uh, bit of money, beautiful. Um, skeletons, no, please. Ouch, no, not a skeleton. This is the one. Green <laughs> shush. Not happy. <laughs> These were meant to be my amazing runs, and instead they're terrible. Be sense one. They're all going to be bit thingy, aren't they? Because what do I even want? I'm not going to probably use it anyway. I've got too much be sense. Let's go soul seeker. Okay, I'm a I'm a sulk seeker. Ah, <sighs> um, I got to go in for run three, haven't I? Because I need something to show for my. For my efforts. Look at the arrow. I, I can't even use these arrows. <sighs> All right. Enough, silly. Playing around now. Let's actually get some points. Thank you, compass. In we go. Plip, plop, plippity plop. Where is it pointing? Straight ahead, of course. Okay. In we go. Right. Get the loot. Get out. Stop playing around. Don't be silly now. This isn't a game. This is a serious business. Back into the forest of where I die all the time. I'm very happy <laughs> about that. Um, okay, I did find... Where was it? <gasps> sneaky? There was a sneaky thing down here. I wonder whether it's all gone. This might get me closer to my goal as well. I did find this once already. Ah, it's empty! Okay, at least it's a sneaky cut through. Um, to over here now. Okay. Wait! <gasps> this took us right to our goal! That was perfect! Okay, give me the book, and, and we leave. And we get straight out of here without messing around at all. What is this? Is this some kind of dance floor? Three clues are hidden within the dungeon to guide them. Find them all. All right, we move. We just leave. We we just leave. We just need to get out of here without dying. Wait. Is that guy following me? Because I need more loot. No, I don't. No, I don't. I need my life. There's another guy in there. There's another guy over that way. There's a third guy over that way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. This just got very scary very, very quickly. Okay. Run, run, run. Run. I think I got rid of this guy now, though. Oh, oh, okay, and please, please, I would like my life intact, just in one piece. Oh, okay, where's the way out? Is it this way? I don't know. Run, 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 and there's the door. Do I? I'm tempted. I'm tempted to just look around for some more presents. I can't, I need to get out of here. Okay, we need to leave and breathe and breathe. Okay, what are our choices? Resistance one. Loot Finder 1, or Beast Sense 1. Um, um, uh, yeah, Loot Finder 1, because I've got too much of the other one already, <laughs> I think. Um, let's see what we get. Loot Box Token Trade-In, put in your loot box, and it'll pop up through the floor. There it is! 
My, my, what a decent box. <gasps> beast bites. Teleport, orb, beast set, beast set, ocean set, common. Is that the one I need? Or the one I already have? I think I might already have that one. Oh no, this is really frustrating. I've already got, look, the common B set. I've already got the common ocean set, but I do have another B set rare. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's put our B set, B set. Um, that one, I kind of want to trade in the two duplicates that I have because, oh, I, d I, I don't need them. I don't need them and I already had the ocean set one. Oh dear me. Okay, I need, to, I need to check this info out and I'll let you know if something good or bad happened because honestly, I can't tell right now. It's bad. It's bad. It's certainly not great. Um, <laughs> yeah, we didn't really get very much there. I barely made a dent in my amazing comeback to reclaim the decked out throne. But hey, you know what? There's still time and I was the first person to wear the crown originally, albeit for a very, very short amount of time. So, you know, there is that. I probably left some dandruff or something on the crown, so, you know, ah, take that, people that are wearing the crown now, it's it's a bit gross. Um, and I also think, by the way, Tango needs to work on his pickles, right? Because everyone's got pickles, look! Everybody! So many pickles! And I, I've even got two pickles myself, so who knows? Maybe I should just be the, the pickle king, right? And collect them all and just win in that way. I'll be happy. Me and my pickles. Anyway, let's get back to base and get fishy. I dug big hole all around the Combruta, and look at this! Since when does F5 mode let the camera go through glass? It's like the Matrix. Look at that! I mean, look, look, if I look at the block, the block blocks it and you get to see my face, but the glass doesn't! That's so cool! <laughs> I never realised that before, but literally now you can hear me behind glass. Fantastic! Alright, so let's check out what I've done. You can see the floor level used to be up here and it's gone shwum. All the way down, we've extended the staircase around. You know what? We can even fly because that will show show it off. Ouch. Show off exactly what we've done. All the way back here, a huge area of diggy, diggy, diggy um, to make the Combruta not buried in the ground anymore, but sat at the very bottom of our aquarium. And you can see from some of this glass placing above, I do want to wrap this thing in glass so that we can flood the outside. We can flood the top and let our fishies swim free. So uh, let's kick on the music. Let's get the time lapse going and let's glass. Time lapse, baby. That's how you do it, right? You just try and make the clips go as quickly as you physically possibly can in the edit, right? That yeah, that's how it works. Perfect. Okay, so uh, you can see we have definitely glassed this whole thing up now. The Combruta is fully enclosed. Well, I hope so anyway, because if we have a single leak in there, the redstone is going bye-bye. But I do believe we've completely sealed it up. And uh, look at this fun little entrance. Can we even get in there? I need to get in. Ha, huh, I'm gonna have to break my way in. That's how sealed up it is, folks. Oh! No, never mind. I'm a ghost, apparently. Um, so look at this. Shwum. How cool is that? Remember, all aquarium outside. I really like this little, like, skeleton almost, like, staircase down. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks quite cyberific, if that's even a word. Um, and very computery, so I'm definitely liking this a lot. And as for the aquarium side of the glass, I'm going for a, a sandy bottom. A sandy bottomed aquarium. Um, and I'm also working it all up the walls as well, like this. In a nice, real, like, scraggly way. You know, this needs to look natural. This needs to look like a big, sandy um, hole in the ground. A big, a big sandy dip um, that water has gone in. And the beauty with sand, right, is that it falls. You can kind of just put it anywhere, and it, it tries to be at least a little bit more natural, at least, anyway. So, yeah, working my way around, giving it a nice, sandy bottom floor. Um, all up the walls too. Ah, I fell. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully that will mean we can start getting some fishies in for the water. I do want to try and make this bit down here a little bit more kind of like piles of sand too, maybe. Maybe we'll even make like a few a few holes that are a little bit lower down and we'll replace this with sand as well. How, how's this going to look? Let's test it. Let's get all the, all the junk stuff out of there. Um... Something like that. Yeah, a few more of them dotted around, but we'll get the uh, the main in of it first. We'll get the foundation layer in, and then we'll go through and uh, kind of add little extra details like this. But between the glass and the sand, this is a lot of sand. Like, no joke, this has been like multiple double chests of sand <laughs> that have got into this project. I was not expecting it to be that much. I don't know why, but the fishies, they better appreciate it. I've got sand in my pants. I've got sand up my nose. 
There's sand everywhere. I don't want to look at sand ever again if I can help it. I'm going to look straight up, look at the ceiling, because this thing... Oh, my goodness me, my hands are on fire from just placing sand down all over the place. Look at it! Look at it! You can look again, by the way. I, d I told you not to look, but now you can. Let's have a fly around. It's so sandy. And unfortunately, I'm a little bit bad at placing the sand. So underneath all of this, there's even more sand. I, I, I really, I didn't want to have to pick it all up and reuse it again. So I might have had to buy some sand. I might have had to dig some sand up myself too. But regardless, it's all placed down now. And I think it looks cool, right? I did consider gravel. And I also did consider like multicolored like pebbles and stuff like you see in some fish tanks as well, which honestly would have been pretty cool. But, 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 but I am going to go from more of a tropical look, right? We got like a great barrier reef under here. Um, I'm going to be getting all of the coral blocks and everything growing all over the place. We're going to have wildlife plants and fish. Um, hey, maybe even some drowned or something as well. Why not? Why not? Some bubbles going on. Oh, it's going to be incredible. And uh, the last thing we need to do before we can actually fill this place up is talk about lighting. Because I did think maybe I have lights. Maybe I have... Have I got any? No, maybe I have sea lanterns dotted all over the place. And then I thought, what if I kept it dark and didn't have sea lanterns all the, over the place? And then I thought, why not do both? And how am I doing that with redstone? Little dark spot over there, right? Right? Wrong! Well, can't, actually right, but now wrong, because ba Look at that! Let there be light hidden in the floor and the walls. I want many, many sea lanterns that just pop up and disappear. And check that out, look, when the sea lantern goes down, it kind of does this weird, like, flash thing, which... I don't know, it's kind of very pleasing to me, but imagine if there was all water here too. None of that would get bothered. This thing could just pop up, look around, and then pop back down again. It's like a meerkat or something like that. <laughs> So imagine having like 50 of these dotted all over the walls, all over the floor, everywhere. Every single one zombie, every single one will be independently hooked up to a random little redstone clock as well. So they'll just be popping up just over here. One pops up, one pops down, one pops over. It will create this like sparkling effect in the whole aquarium, which I don't know about you, but I think that's going to look pretty cool. Watch out. Oh, there's one. There's one popped up. Another one as well. Oh, and another. Okay, they're popping down, popping up as well. Look at this, it's so random and sparkly. It's a little quick. We might need to slow it down, but I, I think, honestly, that's a problem with the, the clock itself. Hi, I'm the clock. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> We're going to have to move this till next episode, I think, because each individual one having its own teeny tiny little clock they're not teeny tiny little clocks. They're like huge, massive grandfather clocks with one tick, limiter, pulsed, crazy, flip floppy, blip bloppy things. And I don't know how to do that. And I want to do it like 50 times. So we need to make sure the redstone is super compact. So if you've got an idea of how to make a, maybe a, a random time, anywhere between five and 20 seconds, just give it a little single tick because these things here need one single tick. Let me know. But uh, for now, we'll just add the lights in like normal and fill this thing up with water. have it ladies and gentlemen half the fish tank full <laughs> i was too scared look there's a zombie over there. i was too scared to fill the whole thing up because i'm just worried that all these lights down here they need redstone and i've got to go and put that down underneath but uh, i also didn't fill it right up to the very top all of this three layers here will be full as well so that we can actually look like into the fish tank from this height too but it is definitely looking way way cooler now the water's all in look at this thing it looks amazing from the outside looking down and seeing a whole combruta down under the water with its like little lifeline down there. Very, very cool stuff. Fish! F wait, I need to get the fish in. Okay, okay. Here we go, fishies. Brand new home. You can all get out and have a good old swim. Um, I've got to push you all like this, haven't I? That's it. Flood around. Do what you need to do. Oh, it's, it's, I'm like a proud... A proud daddy. Okay, and we get some more fishies. And I'm not going to put the puffer in yet because the puffer... Oh, the puffer's been bad lately. <laughs> there we go, fish. Swim around, look. They're already schooling. They're already... Oh, they're, they're in education already. 
Oh, I am super proud. You oh, that looks huge, that fish. The scale looked all kind of craziness. <laughs> but if we swim around, just imagine this place filled with lush coral reefs. And yeah, that's about it. But all these other fish as well. We are going to need hundreds of these guys. And I mean hundreds, if not thousands, to be able to completely fill this place up. Because remember, we're going to have all this space up here and then double that. All over this side as well. Combrota! Oh my goodness me. I really hope the redstone doesn't ever get leaked upon because I would cry. I would cry. Oh, and don't you think for a second that I forgot about the fish flinger because I'm imagining this tunnel way here having an optional way for fish to get flung across. I'm not going to make it so that they have to go through, but I am definitely going to make maybe, maybe around this height some kind of opening over this side, opening over this side where fish can basically fly across this whole walkway. So you're just walking down and there's just like fish, like fwomp, fwomp, maybe both ways. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make it so it's a, a double way thingy. And uh, yeah, fish can literally be flung everywhere. So don't worry, fishy, you will be having your fun times that I promised you long, long ago. But for now, just enjoy your new home. Fill it with fill it with nice bubbles and, and, and whatever fish fill water with. Do fish fill water with things? I don't even know. But that is all we've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very, very much for watching. And a massive, massive thank you to my wonderful patrons who are on the screen right now. Each and every one of these people have helped to make this episode possible. Oh, I'm drowning now. I'm drowning. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Um, good.